so today i'm gonna show you how you can implement a simple circuit in multi-sim and how you can calculate the current and the voltage using multimeter inside that multi-sim so first of all let me open my multi-sim simulator by the way i am using the genuine version of the multi-sim simulator i mean the software and if you have an educational account email account then you can subscribe to a free plan of 45 days of trial i'm using that trial and if you want you can use that as well and most importantly if you already have a license binded within your educational mail then you can get that license as well all right so after opening it let me simply zoom in a little bit so that i can uh, show you clearly how it actually works so first of all let me go to place and component and from here let me simply search for resistor now if you want you can use other resistors from here as well but i normally prefer like this resistor rated you can simply double click on this but if you want you can simply click on ok and simply click anywhere it would simply apply that here now after applying a single component it would open the component window again by default if you don't want that you can simply close this from here now as i have told you earlier that if you want you can use different types of registers as well let me show you first like this if i simply click from groups to sorry if i simply remove this filter then you can see that I'm getting a lot of resistors right here. But even though I have a lot of different resistors here, I used register rated like this. I simply clicked on all groups and then in the component tab, I filtered for register rated. Now you might have a question in your mind that why I used this. The only reason I used this or you can say the only reason I prefer this is because after implementing a single circuit, I mean after applying the register, if I simply double click on it, I can change the value in any way I want. Like I can change the animation slowdown factor, I can change the resistance and anything else which is more than enough for my purpose. Alright, so only for that reason I am using this. Let's say I want to add another register. What I can do? Simply go to place and click on component. Now the shortcut is control and W. You can use that as well. Register rated and you can add another like this. Or if you want to add multiple registers, you can do the same process. But let's say I want to copy a component and paste it again. What I can do? I need to click the i need to select the entire component keep in mind that if you simply click here and try to copy and paste it would simply copy this title or you can say the text of the register number all right but as i don't want that what i prefer i usually prefer to select the entire component like this and then i can simply click ctrl c for copy and if i click ctrl v i am getting a copied component right here all right if you want you can change the value as well like for this i'm changing this value from 1 kilo ohm to 120 ohm and for this i'm changing the value from 1 kilo ohm to 100 ohm like this now you can see that the register comes like this orientation by default but if you want to rotate the component what you can do you can simply select the entire component and click ctrl r that simply rotates the component like this all right and yeah and now i need a dc power source to connect it and to make a complete circuit out of it so what i can do i can simply go to place and component and alternatively i can simply use Control w as the shortcut and here i can simply search for dc power click ok and add it here 
as earlier if i want to change the value i can do that as well let's say i am changing the value from 12 to 20 volt i can do it like here all right and now i have placed all the components all right but i need to connect them all together to make a complete circuit out of it right so what i can do i need to simply join this simply click any endpoint from any component and you can join those like this let me do this for the other components as well now i have joined all of the components and i have made a complete circuits out of it and now let's say i want to calculate the volt of this entire circuit what i need to do i need to place a multimeter against this circuit so if i simply check here i can see that i have multimeter function generator watt meter oscilloscope and many more things but as i simply want to check the current and voltage of this circuit so if i simply use a multimeter that's enough for me so i'm simply clicking here to select a multimeter and i'm adding it here and keep in mind if we want to check voltage of a circuit we need to connect the multimeter in the circuit parallelly i mean if we want to check the voltage of a circuit we need to connect a multimeter against it parallelly so for the plus position i am simply connecting it here and for this minus position i am connecting it to here and then simply click here and check the value if i want to check the voltage i can simply click v that indicates the voltage all right now let's say i want to calculate or you can say i want to measure the current as well now keep in mind if we want to measure the current from a circuit we need to add the multimeter in such a way that it becomes a part of the circuit for that reason we need to connect that multimeter in a series connection in that circuit so let's say i am taking another multimeter here for checking the current and as i need to connect this multimeter as a part of this entire circuit so i need to delete this connection and then i need to place the plus position here and i need to place the negative position here for that this multimeter has already become a part of the circuit you see this multimeter is actually are not a part of the circuit because i have added it in the parallel position against this circuit but this multimeter this is already a part of this circuit because i have added it in the serial connection i mean in series connection and if i want to check the current out of it so i need to double click here and change the value from v to a to indicate that i want to calculate the ampere the current of the circuit all right now it looks good to me now if i want to check them i need to simulate all right i can simply click here run to simulate this but if you want you can go here simulate and run both of these will work just as fine so i'm simply clicking here the simulation has been started now you have understood that i used this multimeter to collect uh, to calculate the volt of this entire circuit right so if i simply double click here you see that i'm getting the voltage as 20.178 millivolt all right and i used this multimeter to calculate the current of this circuit now if i simply double click on this you see that i am getting zero ampere here let me simply stop the simulation and let me minimize the voltage again and if i simply start the simulation you see that i am getting 36.364 milliampere current in this circuit and i am also getting 3.636 volt against this entire circuit now if you want to get a iv curve what you can do simply close the simulation go to simulate go to analysis and simulation and from here go to dc sweep 
because we are using our DC power source, not AC. You can keep this as it is because uh, in most of the time, this appears accurate for our tasks. And I need to go to output. And from here, as I want IV curve, I need to add the I and I need to add the V, V1, which is our power source. And now I need to simply click on run. So this is our IV curve. You can see it right here, right? If you want the curve of only V1, you can uncheck this. And I mean, if you want the curve of V, you can uncheck I. And if you want the graph of I, you can uncheck V like this. If you want both D graph, then you have to simply check both of them to get both graphs. And if you want it in a uh, black and white graph paper, what you can do, simply click graph and click black and white colors like this. This is necessary for printing because we don't want to print it like this. It would waste a lot of ink, right? So if you can understand this, you can implement any circuit, any simple circuit or complex circuit, and you can calculate the volt, I mean voltage and the current in the ampere or milliampere, what you uh, may need for your circuit using the multi-sim.